Alrighty y'all, today I'm going to show you my chesty GoPro mount that allows me to film all day and get great audio. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Thanks for clicking on this video. Lou here from Beyond the Bounds. This is a channel geared towards bass fishing and gear reviews. So if you like that sort of thing, click that subscribe button up top. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Let's jump right into this video because that's why you clicked on this. Talking about my chesty GoPro setup along with all day power and great audio. All right guys, so again, thanks for clicking on this video. I want to go through this as fast as possible. As you can see, I've got the chesty GoPro mount phenomenal mount, very comfortable. Everything that you see here in this picture will be linked down below in the description. Um, so I'm not gonna go over the individual names, but what you're gonna need is a the GoPro combo cord, a lapel mic of your choosing. It does not have to be powered. You're gonna need a USB-C, that's this connector right there, USB-C to a USB cord. Now that USB can be a 2.0, 3.0, your preference. You're also gonna need a power bank charger. This is a 20,000 milliamp charger. I would recommend going some, with something just a little bit smaller. This one in itself is kind of long and that's the only issue that I have with this one. This one actually fits really well in back pockets because while it's long, it is also very slim. And that helps me put this in a back pocket, in a front pocket. So if you're just walking around on the bank, this is gonna be great for you. Not only that, when you go with a little bit larger, you can charge things like cell phones, Bluetooth speakers, whatever you might be taking out with you while you're fishing. So that's why a little bit larger of a power bank, even though it's heavier and a little bit more cumbersome to transport will really do you well. Now again, everything's gonna be linked in the description below. This lapel mic is a really good lapel mic. You can see that I've got it clipped there. I've got all of my cords managed using some, some twist ties and some of these kind of cord keeper things. I'll probably change these out because these get caught on stuff. Probably utilize more of this night eyes, little twist ties right there. But that's the complete setup in a nutshell of everything that you need to get started fishing and recording. This will also work good if, as a vlog setup too because you can just take it off, hold it, talk to the camera because the lapel mic's gonna pick up good sound. Don't rely on the stock sound. The stock sound, it's not really good and it's not gonna add to your video. Using a lapel mic is gonna add to the quality of your video. It's gonna lead to more subscribers and a better viewing experience by your subscribers. So guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions about this setup, throw them down in the comments section below. I'll try to answer every single one that I can. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.